I want to take a look at this bicycle lock. Um, it had a chain attached from here all the way around to here. I don't know, about half a meter or something like that, which I've cut off just um, to make it more convenient to hold on to. Now, um, this is the key. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's a laser cut uh, slider key. Um, a slider lock um, is slightly different from a pin tumbler uh, in so much as there are uh, little protrusions on either the right or left of the keyway uh, which have to be pushed up or down into the correct position. Uh, now this is a uh, Swiss engineered lock um, and there are a couple of uh, problems with it well problems in so much as it's not that easy to to get into first of all I think you can see that it has you know these French doors here <laughs> okay these sort of curtains which are sprung and um, that doesn't help when you're trying to get a, a, a a tensioner in uh, or even a pick because you can't see inside so you have to get a pick uh, or a tensioner which keeps the the doors open so that you can uh, get your pick in that's the first thing now if we can look inside this closely if I can open these doors I don't know if you can see inside there when I do that, you can also see um, that there is a, a shield moving up and down at the top. Now that is to protect the sliders from getting at them with a pick. So not only do I have to get by these, these French doors here, I've then got to push this protection out of the way, get my pick up and turn the sliders down from the top and up from the from the bottom into position now some uh, slider locks have the sliders on both sides um, but this particular one only has sliders on one side and um, if I come home in the dark by the way this key also has a battery and a little light if I press this button here the light will come on and I can see into my keyway so the whole thing is really quite nicely engineered um, and I'm now going to have a go at um, picking it so the next time you see this lock it will be in my vise okay so here we are with the lock in the vise and uh, this is how it works. Key goes in. These bevels at the end of the key push the protectors out of the way, the shields on the top and bottom, um, so that the sliders can access this part of the key here. In we go. Uh, small, short turn, and as you can see, the pin pops out there it is so now let's have a go at picking this thing here hmm a light now I'm absolutely certain that there is a, a binding order for the sliders inside this so I'm going to start with my tension wrench at the bottom and I'm using a double half diamond I'm going up above the protector and across and push the pins downwards until I feel some sort of binding
Now I'm going to keep tension on and I'm going to now change to the sliders on the bottom. I'm maintaining the tension there and going in at the bottom to get sliders up there. I should probably have to do this a few times. I need to go down beyond the protector and turn the sliders up until I feel a click. Now if some of them don't click into position, I'm going to assume that they are in a different order and I'm therefore going to change my tensioner once again keeping on quite a strong tension um, this is really a very strong tension There is not a great deal of feedback in these sliders. Change again. Plenty of tension. And there it is, just popped out. Okay. Now, this part will not fit back in to the lock unless the key is in. So let's put the key into there and get this all back together. There it is, slider lock opened.